If you know these 15 words, your English is in the top 1%. First, you'll see a sentence on the screen with a blank. You need to choose the correct word to complete the sentence. After, you'll learn the definition, pronunciation, and hear real-world examples of natives using the word in context. Are you ready? Welcome back to J4S English. Of course, I'm Jennifer. Now let's get started. Question one, the team's efforts have been with periods of intense focus followed by days of inactivity. The correct answer is B, sporadic, sporadic. This means occurring at irregular intervals or only in a few places scattered or isolated. For example, the power outages were sporadic throughout the day. So this means they didn't occur continuously, they occurred sporadically at different intervals, different times, but not continuously. Don't worry about taking notes because I summarize everything in a free lesson PDF. You can find the link in the description. Let's listen to some real world examples. I describe myself as a sporadic meditator. We've definitely done it in, you know, kind of sporadic one-off. That's when we get sporadic results. That's when we get haphazard results. That's when we get inconsistency. That's when we get people that will compromise their values. Question two, his curiosity led him to read every book on the subject. The correct answer is C, insatiable. Listen to that pronunciation, insatiable, insatiable. This means impossible to satisfy. For example, I have an insatiable appetite for learning English. Notice the use of the word appetite because insatiable is commonly used with feelings of hunger, impossible to satisfy your hunger. So do you have an insatiable appetite for learning English? Put that's right, that's right, put that's right in the comments. Now let's listen to some real world examples. But these insects aren't always so insatiable. Because I was just an insatiable learner, I knew I wanted to be some kind of an ist. I you know, went from marine biologist to paleontologist. It's too small to satisfy such insatiable appetites. Question three, when its first product failed, the company had to, to a new idea. The correct answer is C, pivot, pivot. This means to make a fundamental change in approach or strategy. We pivoted and bought a condo. So this sounds like you change your approach. First, you wanted to buy a house or maybe even rent a house, but then you pivoted, you changed your approach and you bought a condo. Let's listen to some real world examples. And, and the big pivot uh, is about a deep change in the priorities of business. Now, some people call that pivot. So some of my colleagues over at Accenture actually call pivot to the future. They're trying to think, how can we pivot or do things differently? Question four, the scientists knew the theory was false and worked to it. The correct answer is A, debunk. Listen to that pronunciation, D, debunk. This means to expose the falseness of a myth, idea, or belief. For example, I need to debunk the idea that you can't improve your speaking alone because you absolutely can. Do you agree with that? Do you want to help me debunk this myth? If you do, put that's right, that's right in the comments and let's listen to some real world examples. It's time to debunk them once and for all. So I wanted to write a book to try to debunk a, a lot of myths about physical activity and about exercise. If I can't debunk it, if I can't falsify it, if there's no way to test it, then how will we ever know it's true? Question five, she appreciated his comments even though they were difficult to hear.
The correct answer is B, candid, candid. This means truthful and straightforward. Another word for it is frank, his frank response. You could say her candid answers, her honest, straightforward, her candid answers impressed the hiring manager. Let's listen to some real world examples. They're also candid, they're honest, vulnerable, and give lots of feedback. They said, let facts be submitted to a candid world. The solution I found to that was to be very candid with my reader. How are you doing so far? Question six, her analysis of the situation helped resolve the issue quickly. The correct answer is C, astute. Notice that end, oot, astute, astute. This means you're able to understand a situation quickly and see how to take advantage of it. For example, she made an astute observation about the company's strategy. Let's listen to some real world examples. Yeah, I think that that's very, actually a very astute observation. <laughs> uh, Mahatma Gandhi actually was a very astute politician. I mean, that's really fascinating and politically astute, obviously. Question seven, she placed her belongings around the room without any thought. The correct answer is C, haphazardly. This is fun to say, haphazardly, haphazardly. This means in a manner lacking any obvious organization and notice it's an adverb. For example, the books were piled haphazardly on the table. So it sounds like at any moment those books could fall because they were piled haphazardly. Let's listen to some real world examples. The city that was built haphazardly along the river wasn't equipped to house more people. But it's done haphazardly and typically ineffectively. So he's not just throwing them around haphazardly. Question eight, their silence was taken as consent to proceed. The correct answer is A, tacit, tacit. You won't hear that final T in spoken English, tacit, tacit. This means understood or implied, but without being stated. We often use this to describe agreements. There was a tacit agreement to keep the situation private. So this means that nobody formally said, we will keep the situation private, it was understood without saying it. It was a tacit agreement. Let's listen to some real world examples. A lot of our knowledge is tacit. It reflects both the explicit and tacit racism. But isn't there a signal, a tacit signal from the retirements of all these congressional officials? Question nine, she experienced the adventure through her friend's vivid descriptions. The correct answer is C, vicariously. Notice that K, vicariously, vicariously. This means experience through the activities of other people rather than by doing something yourself. For example, his love of travel was fulfilled vicariously through documentaries and movies. So this sounds like he didn't travel himself. He was exposed to travel on TV, documentaries, and movies. Let's listen to some real world examples. Yes, maybe you can kind of vicariously enjoy that. I get to enjoy that vicariously and maybe give them some guidance, right? It's I mean, vicariously, we all went there. Question 10, I can't seem to, the reason behind her sudden resignation. The correct answer is C. Fathom, fathom. This means to understand someone or why someone acts as they do. We often use this in the negative. She couldn't fathom why he made such a decision. 
This means she doesn't understand why or how he made the decision. Let's listen to some real world examples. I want to talk to you about that love so deep, only a mother can fathom it. We never fully know God's purpose. We can never fully fathom his amazing grace. Can you fathom that? You're doing such a great job. Question 11, the teacher began to the student for not completing the assignment. The correct answer is A, berate, berate. This means to scold or criticize someone angrily. The client berated the intern for spelling the company name wrong on the posters. Let's listen to some real world examples. They in fact berate it. They call it stupid and worse, believe me. It was shocking to see him berate Sergeant Pagani in front of us. Okay. Is that a question or, uh, or you just want to berate me? Question 12, their joy over the victory was fading quickly as the next challenge appeared. The correct answer is A, ephemeral, ephemeral, ephemeral. This means lasting for a very short time. For example, the beauty of the sunset was ephemeral, disappearing within minutes. Let's listen to some real world examples. They produce ephemeral rain roots that quickly take up the available water. What's immediate and ephemeral seems to dominate our lives, our economy, and our politics. They're kind of ephemeral, but yet not entirely gone. Question 13, they offered free snacks in an attempt to the angry crowd. The correct answer is A, placate. Notice that K, placate. Placate. This means to make someone less angry or hostile. For example, the intern tried to placate the client by offering to work late. So the intern tried to make the client less angry. Let's listen to some real world examples. Now I'm not saying placate him or blow sunshine at him. But I'm saying when it comes from if he is doing a good job and is coming from an authentic place, let him know. Pulling an object of art to, to placate part of the public. They passed some of his reforms and tried to placate the people. Question 14, it was how similar their voices sounded over the phone. The correct answer is C, uncanny, uncanny. This means strange or mysterious in an unsettling way. He has an uncanny ability to pick a winner. Let's listen to some real world examples. Professors have an uncanny knack for remembering what they've read, whether it's by another professional or by a student. Uh, General Lee was a brilliant uh, tactician who had kind of an uncanny ability in individual battles. Well, I have an uncanny ability to honk off people on all sides of issues. Question 15. Their meeting at the party was pure, as neither knew the other would be there. The correct answer is C, happenstance. This is also fun to say, happenstance, happenstance. This is the same as coincidence, something that happens by chance, not planned. For example, by sheer happenstance, my neighbor and I were both traveling to Paris on the same day. Again, this is a coincidence. My neighbor and I did not plan to travel to Paris on the same day. It was sheer happenstance. And sheer emphasizes the coincidence, emphasizes the happenstance. Let's listen to some real world examples. 
I didn't just get here by happenstance. I, I get here because I'm the product of people who were humble enough to not see me and write me off as a villain, but embrace me as a would-be hero in the making. You know, maybe just by happenstance, I happen to be a little bit more embodied. And I felt a certain kind of way about that. Um, I mean, some of it honestly is happenstance. How did you do with this quiz? Share your score in the comments. And remember, you just learned and practiced 15 new words to help you sound fluent in English. Do you want more lessons like this? If you do, put yes, 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 put yes, 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 yes in the comments below. And of course, make sure you like this lesson, share it with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. And you can get this free speaking guide where I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. You can click here to download it or look for the link in the description. I have another lesson to test your vocabulary. Make sure you watch it right now.